a great privilege. Thank you for joining us. No problem. <laughs> so let's bow in prayer to ask God's blessing upon the ceremony. God, as we stand here today, we ask for your blessing for this couple as they unite in marriage. Let all of their days together be happy, and all of their words to each other be sweet. Though their paths are intertwined, let them also be aware of each other's individuality. Bless their home and allow it to be a place of serenity. Remind them to nurture each other with mutual love, honor, and respect. As they learn from one another, may they grow stronger as individuals and closer as a couple. And as their wedded life begins today with prayer, so may they continue through life praying for and with each other. Amen. 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 Today, promises become permanent and friends become family. However, this day is not about the words that are spoken or the rings that will be exchanged. It is not about a large wedding party or lavish decorations. Although I don't see how you get much more <laughs> decorative than this, right? Pretty nice backdrop. Pretty nice. Beautiful. This day, the day of Wendy and Bob's wedding, is a day of celebration and love. And love and love. Wendy and Bob, the breathless tale as husband and wife is about to begin. It's easy. All you have to do is simply love one another. And that love shows through in everything you do for one another and how you treat each other in good times oh. and bad. Is he making it up? No, he's doing his normal, <laughs> just so everybody can know that's really Bobby. <laughs> love isn't just a word, it's an action. Love is not something you say, it's something you do. Love is genuine, honest, and open, passionate and kind, passionate and blind, not looking for jealous eyes. In the modified words of the Apostle Paul in his letter to the Corinthians, Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never dies. There is romantic love, the love of parents and children, love between brothers and sisters and family, and last but not least, love among friends. Not only do you love one another romantically, and you do, you can see it in every look, in every touch, in every moment you are together. Well, almost it. You also love each other as friends. In fact, your best friends, constantly giggling, talking, teasing, and obviously having fun together. That love and enjoyment of each other as best friends will sustain you through your marriage. In addition, the love from friends and family will help sustain the support, sustain and support the promises you make today. Those of us here will help solidify this bond as you both are joined as husband and wife today. This new journey will be at times richly rewarding and also difficult. <laughs> but most important, it will be a journey you take together. Marriage is much more than your signatures on a legal contract. We are promising today that you want to be with each other and only love each other the rest of your lives. And that you will do everything in your power to honor the promises you are making here today. For their part, the people who love you will do everything in their power try to help you hold up your hand. Let's see what the Bible says about marriage. Sure. Don't you know by marriage. <laughs> couple more minutes and we're done. A couple more minutes and we're done. And the Lord God said it's not good that man should be alone. I'll make him and help him. So as you know, God took a rib from Adam and made a woman for him. The book of Proverbs says, Whosoever findeth a wife findeth a good thing and obtain favor of the Lord. Fortune works both ways. We two finding each other, I know they all can agree, is a good thing. The Bible also says, therefore, a man shall leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be in one flesh. Love never fails. Now, when you and Bob at this time, you will recite your vows to one another. Okay, since I don't have my phone, I'm going to have to ablib it. Can you lead into the mic?
And we went out the next day. cherish her for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, and during ice cream cravings and watching chick flicks? I do. Oh. I do. He has the ice cream cravings, oh. I don't. <laughs> and forsaking all others, will you remain only under her for as long as the both show her? Absolutely. Do you, Wendy, take Bob to be your lovely wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward? I know. Sorry. That was an affirmative. <laughs> yes, that was a yes. Is that an I do? That was an I do. Okay. You promise to love, honor, and cherish him for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health. Let him go hunting whenever possible from September through November each year. September? Yes. September. <laughs> November. <laughs> November. <laughs> November. <laughs> you didn't say August, so yes. Actually, September. August through November. <laughs> August, September through November? I do. Forsaking all the others. Mic, the mic did get that right. Okay. Thank you. And forsaking all others, will you remain only unto him for as long as you both share it? Forever and ever. I do. Sorry, I got sidetracked. Now you will exchange rings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My pleasure you? for the first time to call you Mr. and Mrs. Alvarez. Yay! Congratulations. Dun, 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 d